Yeah, and now we are in Stockholm and on our way to Uppsala. Michael, you were with us last weekend in uh, Rødov. Yes. And it was amazing, wasn't it? It was so, so, so amazing. Yeah. And last weekend we experienced so much. Yep. And this is not last weekend. No. Definitely. This is this is this week. Amen. Don't live by what you experienced last week, because this is a new week where new things is going to happen. Yeah. And just today, before we went in the plane, we met the guy who got saved and baptized last week, and he's totally changed. We were together with him today, and it was so amazing. It was like, it was so amazing. You could see in him that the gospel is the power of salvation. He just, he's praying all the time. He's praying for revival now. He's seeking God, and he's already experienced how God has answered prayer because he, he he was standing two days after he got saved. He was standing in a situation where he was praying and saying, God, I need to see you, and God came. And this is Peter. Yeah. Peter, you invited us. Yeah, you so were, happy. You were in Denmark some months ago? Yes. And a lot of things have happened in your life since that. Yeah, well, wonderful things. Yeah. I, I know Peter, he was in Denmark, and so much has happened since that, so yeah. they have written an article about him yeah. where the it stands that your life is have been uh, have become a uh, adventures. Yes, amen. Do you look forward to these days? Yeah, it's going to be wonderful. I, I, I know I've seen it before and I see it uh, daily now. Like people getting healed, saved, baptized. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! So <laughs> this is a little greeting for us here yeah. from Sweden on our way to Uppsala. Yeah. Yeah, we are ready now here in Uppsala going to have a meeting. You can see this is a big firm and there is like a kitchen there. I love it. <laughs> and uh, people are coming in and there is not room enough for everybody, but let's see what, what we're going to do. But I love, I'm going to stand in the kitchen and preach. This is just me, standing in the kitchen. I love kitchens. I've seen many people got baptized with the Holy Spirit in kitchen. I've seen people got saved in kitchen. I've seen people got healed in kitchen. And I'm going to preach in the kitchen. I love it. Yeah. Want to talk about discipleship? <laughs> when a person gets born again, often we come into a system. We come into a mindset. We come into this tank set. And we think this is the only way to do it. We have to have the word of God. We must and we have to obey. We must lead it. And, and what God wants. This is simple faith. This is just simple faith. We broke it. She broke the foot on Monday and now it's gone. Let's see. <laughs> That's worship. No, you can go to the doctor and just have a little Oh, I like to this I have my souvenir at home. I love. Yesterday. Igor. For the people who was not here yesterday. She came with crutches. 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 She came with Det har hållit sig så att jag kan gå nu också. Så jag kan gå och walk nu också. Så här är den hela nu mig. Så här är den hela nu mig. Så här är den hela nu mig. Amen, Jesus. Amen. 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 This is what we read in the Bible. Det här vill jag säga till dig. This is for everybody. Det här är alla. Amazing. Fantastiskt. So, let, I just want to share this testimony. Jag vill bara dela det här That we had to explain. Expect God to move. Yeah. We have to do the opposite. And expect God to do something new. What well, good looks you yes. like new? Um, we have a problem. I'm going to talk about our problem today. We have a problem. I'm going to talk about our today. Our problem is our traditions. Our problem is our traditions. And our experience. And our experience. Our experience. Our experience. Somehow can be good. På något sätt kan det vara bra. Because we can have good experience and it can help us. Och vi kan ha bra för vi kan ha bra för det kan hjälpa oss. But our experience will always limit us. Men But when we start to think of the man of peace. Nu börjar tänka på fridens man. And be open for the man of peace. Och öppen för fridens man. And looking for the man of peace. Och leta efter fridens man. And praying for the man of peace. Och be och hitta fridens man. You find him. Du har vi hela. Be careful. It's, it's inside the church. <laughs> <laughs> you have to be in there. 
Du måste vara där inne. Be careful. Var försiktig. This world is dangerous. Ja, världen är farlig. They want to eat you. De vill äta dig. <laughs> keep, keep inside. Håll dig inom hus. Forever. För alltid. Be there. Var där. Var det god sheva. Ja, det är god heder. I'm going to keep you there. Jag ska hålla dig. Safe. Där. The shepherd was going with the lamb. Oh, 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 and this is what Jesus is saying. Mm. Go out. Go out. And I am with you. Amen. Amen. Yes. Yes. Always. Always. Christina was with us out on the street yesterday. Christina was with us on the street And And she met a Buddhist. Och mötte en Buddhist. And stopped her. Och stoppade henne. And talked with her about God. Och pratade med henne. <coughs> and the Buddhist was very shocked. Och Buddhist var väldigt chockad. Because some days ago, för, för några dagar sedan, she had got a strange dream. För några dagar sedan fick hon en märklig dröm. In the dream she was dreaming. I drömmen så drömde hon. That she was walking on the street. Att hon gick på gatan. Mm. And a woman was a girl was coming to her. Och att en flicka kom fram till henne. And tell her things she had never heard before. Och berätta om saker som hon aldrig hört förr. And she had to listen to what this girl had to say. Hon var tvungen att lyssna på vad hon skulle säga. Amazing. Fantastiskt. Oh, so she listened to her. This is amazing what God is doing. Det är fantastiskt vad Gud gör. I met uh, somebody who got healed also and And there was a girl I met yesterday. Uh, I asked her if she have, is sick. Du ska fråga henne om hon var sjuk. Is it not physical? Nej, inte fysiskt. I have anorexi. Jag har anorexia. And you can see that she was very big. Och du kunde se att hon var väldigt smal. And, and I, I asked if I could pray for her. Så jag frågade, kan jag få be för dig? I pray for her. Och jag bad för henne. And I've had prayed for her. Och efter jag hade bett för henne. Something is happening. Something is happening inside of me. Something is happening inside of me. I would like to pray for you again. You saw I would be afraid again. And I got some word for her <coughs> about her father and what happened. And I said, I said, I would like to do something. I would like to give you a hug. I would like to give you a hug. It's okay, I give you a hug. So her boyfriend was standing there. And his boyfriend stood there. And I said, I would like to give you a hug. I would like to give you a hug. Because you have been long after love. Du har du har längtat efter kärlek. But what you have experienced was sex. Du har erfarenhet det är bara sex. Unclean love. Oren kärlek. And I I feel like I should give you a hug now. Så jag känner bara för att ge dig en kram nu. And the hug is a hug hug from God. Absolut. Kramen är en kram från Gud. And she said yes. Och hon sa ja. And I gave her a hug. Jag gav henne en kram. And she immediately started to cry. Och hon började gråta. And she was crying, crying and just... Och hon bara grät och grät och grät. It was amazing. Det var fantastiskt. I love it. Så jag älskar det här. God is moving. Gud rör på sig. Now we're crying. Can you say what happened? Igår var en väldigt speciell dag. Yesterday was a very special day. Han frågade om han hade ont någonstans. So Michael asked him if he had pain anywhere. Ja, jag har verk i hela kroppen 24 timmar. Wow. And he said that I have uh, pain in my body 24/7 all 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 uh, day round. Det är omöjligt att han tyckte han tyckte om oss och så, men han sa det är omöjligt att jag ska bli frisk. Jag har varit så här efter en bil och lycka och jag kommer att dö med en sjukdom. He liked us and everything, but he said this this is impossible. I had this after car accident. I'm going to die with this pain. Han hade provat med allt. He had tried everything. Ja, men det kan man ändå få be be med dig så. But we we just said, can we pray with you? Okej, okej, sa han. Han sa, ja, okej, du. Men ja, då låter jag min vän här, Lars, be för, be för dig. Så kan du lägga handen på honom, Lars? Och så gjorde Lars så här. Then Michael said that, that okej, okay, my friend, Lars, he's gonna pray for you. So Lars just put the hand on him, like this. Ja, och så stod Lars bara och muttrade någonting. Then Lars sa, ja, he said something. Ja, så sa han. Ja, hur känner du dig nu då, liksom, sa han efter ett tag. Then I asked him, how do you feel now then, after a while? Ja, kan du röra på dig liksom? Can you move your body? Och då blir han alldeles stel han sitter bara stirrar. Then he has to be got totally stiff, and he looked at us. Helt tyst, knäpp. Totally quiet. Han sa han sitter bara helt stel och han bara rörde på sig så här. And he has to stand still. Hur känner du dig? Känner du något smärt? How do you feel? Do you feel any pain? Ingen smärta, sa han. No pain, he said. Ingen smärta, vad har ni gjort? Vad har ni gjort för mig? Han var helt chockad. He was totally shocked. Och Victoria, hon såg ut som en stor fågelhåll. Men hon såg ut som en stor fågelhåll. Hon var totally a question mark. Och efter... 
Börja på att prata med några andra, sen kommer han tillbaka. Then we went away for a while and talked with some other people, but then he came back. Vi har gav han ett telefonnummer så han kan ringa till oss. So I gave him a phone number so he can men, call us. Men då kommer han ändå tillbaka då vi stod och pratade med andra so och berättade för dem. Det fungerar, det fungerar! <laughs> <laughs> Helt exakt. Han kom tillbaka och sa, this is working, this is working, this is working. I morse så var jag helt... Förkyld, alltså uppsvullen i halsen och näsan och jag hade feber. Okej, jag don't säga någonting, men jag woke up this morning och was uh, this morning I was yes, woke up and I, I felt cold. Och jag sa till Gud, <coughs> sa, God. jag lovar att göra precis vad du vill i mitt liv. Du får fan använda mig till vad som helst, bara bli frisk. Så jag sa till Gud, du kan göra vad du vill med mig i mitt liv. Jag promiserar att jag dig. As long as he has to get healthy now, the cold goes away. Och så upplever jag bara hur en kumba ström kommer över mig. Så jag har felt the stream just coming over me. Halleluja! Och förkylningen bara försvinner. Uppställningen försvinner. The cold just went away, the swarm just goes away. They don't know so much. De vet inte så mycket. But they act on what they know. Men de agerar och gör det de vet. And this is our problem. Och det här är vårt problem. And I I can see see God is doing something new. Och jag kan se att jag kan se att Gud gör det nytt. In 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 also here in 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 Skandinavia. Också här i Skandinavia. Finish with the Old Testament. Man är färdig med gamla testamentet. You have a very clear picture of who God is. Du har en väldigt tydlig bild om vem Gud är. The Creator of heaven and earth. Hey, right now I command every pain to go right now in the shoulder, God. I command every pain in the back to go right now. In the eyes to go right right now. Right now. Why is it now? Well, it's, it doesn't pop anymore. It didn't pop anymore. Everything, last thing goes go right now. What now? I can't feel it. Now it's gone. <laughs> what about you? What do you think? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I'm you because we're going to heal that in the name of Jesus. What about you? Who has pain? It's gone? I have COVID too. COVID too. <laughs> Mike, can you come pray? What about you? What do you have pain? <laughs> Yeah, Peter, I'm going to Denmark again, and yeah. uh, you came to Denmark two months, three months ago. Yes. And there you got started, and you prayed for uh, many, uh, the first people who got healed. Yeah. And you have started an adventure in your life. Yes. And you have been in Thailand, and you have ba baptized people in water and with the Holy Spirit, and, mm. and life has got changed. Yeah, and, totally. and now we have been here uh, three days. How has it been? Oh, it's been amazing, you know, it's been a strong preaching, strong teaching. Uh, we've been out in the streets praying for sick, we've seen many, many healings and uh, I think many people's lives have also get, got changed. And uh, also for us it's been a blessing to have you here and it's, uh, it's been a wonderful time for... Give one testimony to what happened. Yeah, I think one, one good thing that we did, because we brought people out to get, give them a kickstart and I, I took a, a little boy into to a, a, a gang of pretty big boys and they looked dangerous, seven people. and. I just you, let this 13 year old boy just pray for them and, got, and one of the men they got healed, you know. It was very strong because this young man, you could see that it works and, uh, and it, was, it was a strong testimony to, to see that. And, and that made a huge impact on his father, I think. And his father also uh, brought him so he could pray for some sick and they also got healed. So that, like, I think uh, this impact has touched his family. So it was very, God is doing something uh. there. And like two, three months ago, you haven't like prayed for sick people, and today you pray for about ten people at the mean who got healed. Yeah, yeah. And yes. the people got baptized with the Holy Spirit today. Yeah, yeah baptized on. Yeah. You love it? Yeah, I love it. Hallelujah. So, so it was good. This yeah. is contact. This is yeah. what God is doing. Yeah. So God bless you here in Sweden, Uppsala. Thank you. Yeah. Since we were in Uppsala, I have heard many testimony about how it just has continued. Many have been healed since then, including people with cancer. I've also heard of at least three that have been saved, baptized in water and with the Holy Spirit. So these Equipment America weekends really bear fruit. Do you want to have such a weekend in your town? Please contact us through thelastreformation.com.